Ronald Wilson Reagan. America bids farewell to a hero. Ronald Reagan, 40th President of the United States, begins his final journey to the West. President Reagan's greatest legacy was giving America back its optimism and its sense of pride. He made us feel good about ourselves again. When that flag went by, we all stood a little taller. I, Ronald Reagan, do solemnly swear that I will faithfully execute the office of President of the United States. President Reagan was a statesman of the first order. Persuasive, disarming, instinctive, he inspired America and the entire world with the clarity of his vision and his sense of direction and purpose. We have lost a great president, a great American, and a great man, and I have lost a dear friend. He inspired America and its allies with renewed faith in their mission of freedom. I was always struck by his style and grace, his strength of character. He brought hope to a dispirited world, and he did it with incredible dignity. Ronald Reagan ended the Cold War. Mr. Gorbachev, tear down this wall. The Iron Curtain came down for good, and the special joy I felt was that the answer came in my own lifetime. President Reagan was one superb negotiator. Indeed, he could charm the birds out of the trees, but it was his idealism and his endless strength and courage that put America and the world on the road to a lasting peace. Ronald Wilson Reagan, with his style and grace, he made it seem easy. With his compassion and sense of timing, he brought strength of character to the nation and enkindled hope in a darkened world. While others worried, President Reagan persevered. When others weakened, President Reagan stood tall. When others stepped back, President Reagan stepped forward. And he did it all with great humility, with great charm, and with great humor. Ronald Reagan spoke of a nation that was hopeful, big-hearted, idealistic, daring, decent, and fair. That was how he saw America, and that is how America came to know him. There was a kindness, simplicity, and goodness of character that marked all the years of his life. And in this national vigil of mourning, we show how much America loved this good man and how greatly we will miss him. We never got tired of listening to him. He always spoke with such ease and good cheer. And that smile, that twinkle in his eye, pure vintage Reagan. In a life of good fortune, he valued above all the gracious gift of his wife, Nancy. President and Mrs. Reagan were the most loving couple you could ever be around. I never knew a couple so close as they were. And she loved him and they loved each other and they set a great example of how a couple can love each other through thick and thin. I can't imagine life without her. Ronald Reagan belongs to the ages now. We preferred it when he belonged to us. We know, as he always said, that America's best days are ahead of us. But with Ronald Reagan's passing, some very fine days are behind us, and that is worth our tears. Ronald Reagan believed in America. 
so he made it his shining city on a hill. He believed in freedom, so he acted on behalf of its values and ideals. As his vice president for eight years, I learned more from Ronald Reagan than from anyone I encountered in all my years of public life. I learned kindness. We all did. I also learned courage. The nation did. We began this day, and it seemed the heavens were weeping as we paid our farewell to your servant, Ronald Reagan. We have come from sea to shining sea to this soil which he loved so much and where his body will remain. I always knew how deeply Ronnie loved America and the American people, but I was so touched to see how much they loved him in return. People of all races and from different countries people we knew and thousands we'd never met, all anxious to reach out to Ronnie one last time. Our family's sense of loss is immense and is difficult to put into words. From being governor of the largest state in the country to being president of the United States for eight years, he somehow remained the same wonderful man. We did more than just pass through. We got America moving again. We breathed new life into our economy and put more people to work. convention tribute to former President Ronald Reagan.